folks, let me just start from the scratch for the for the deployment. So first of all, you should have got an Eclipse, a Scala SDK downloaded. Just extract it. Right click and extract it. You'll get the Eclipse. Go inside Eclipse. Click this button. Okay. This this gets open. It will ask you the workspace. Just give the default workspace and simply give an enter. Okay. In your case, it may ask this pop-up with workspace alone. Simply give enter in your case, okay? My case, I don't want to use another older workspace. In your case, just launch it normally, okay? Yeah, so finally this gets arrived, folks. So this is a place where you need to create the Scala and Spark project. So first go to file, new, go to other, Maven, just maximize this at the left. Go to Maven project. Next. Just give any name here, okay? Click this button. Click this button. Checkbox. Next. Give Spark. Spark first. Name can be anything. Name can be anything. Doesn't matter, okay? Spark first. Spark first. Doesn't mean name can be anything. Group ID artifact. It but Give the same ID for future reference. So give finish. So the project gets created here. So what you have to do as a further steps is, okay. Once this gets created, it may take some time for the creation. So this, this data gets uploaded, like this kinds of a folder gets created. Now enable the Scala one, right click the project, configure, add Scala nature. Scala nature gets added. So right click the Scala container, library container, build path, configure build path. This gets uploaded. Just give add external jar or sorry, give edit, give edit. Okay. Give edit. Don't go to that. Give edit. Then go click 2.11 bundle, then go with 2.11 bundle and finish it off. Okay. Then finish it off. Apply and close. Done. Later on, this changed to 2.11. Always check every time when you restart, this should be 2.11. Go to JRE system library, right click, build path, configure build path, give the edit again, give the edit again, okay? And alternate JRE, alternate JRE. Mostly you will not have JDK here. Instead you'll have JRE, mostly, but we need JDK here in the drop down. In my case, it will come, but in your case, it may not come. So go to install JREs, give add, add OK. Then go to next, standard VM, next. Go to directory, OK. Go to directory, go to directory. So here, this box, checkbox, go to this PC where you have the JDK installed. C, then go to program files. Under C, you have that program files created. You have Java sitting inside. Go inside Java. You have this JDK. Once you click the JDK folder, just give OK. In your case, the finish gets enabled. For me, since it's already there, I'll get in the pop-up. So get finish. In your case, finish it. And apply and close. Once you drop it down, you'll see the JDK. Just click the JDK and finish it off. Okay. And apply and close. That's it. Now, once it is done, you have source main Java at the left, right, left corner, right click that, refactor, refactor, rename, Scala. Again, source test Java will also be there. Do a similar thing. Re right click, refactor, rename, Scala. Done. When these two names are changed, right click this source main Scala, right click, package, give spark pack, give spark pack. Everything is small. Okay. And then right click the spark pack. S check scale object. You can see if you cannot see the scale object. Don't worry. Go to other. If you see, click it or else go to other. There'll be a scale wizard here. Scale wizard. Maximize it. You'll see the scale object here. Anything is okay. If it's not getting popped up, come inside. Give next. 
After Spark, you can see the third box, Spark Pack Dot, Spark Pack Dot. Give everything in small, Spark OBJ, everything in small, okay? Finish it off. So this gets applied. So it'll take a minute. So finally, your thing would be available. So here, what you have to do is, once it is done, we need Spark in this project. So right click the Spark first project, go to build path, configure build path, right click the project, go to configure build path, go to libraries, go to add external jars, okay? Go to the folder where you have extracted Spark 2.4.0, go to, I mean, folder where you have local, go inside that folder, you have jars folder, go inside the jar folder, select everything and add it up. That's it. You have jar gets added, then give apply and close. Once again, apply and close. We have some of the import statements to be enabled. Please check, please check. I'll give this code, don't worry. Just put this import statement, okay? Then there is a def main method. That's it. So here you have main method. So there are some sorts of code where you need to take care, okay? For now, don't worry. What is it all about? Nowhere today is not the that's not the context today. Once this this setup is completed, folks, once this setup is completed, then what you can do, you can place that liner code, what we have discussed. These are the five liner code, what we discussed, okay? Uh, and then one more import statement. Import sys.process. That's it. So these are the one, but you have to take care of the paths, okay? In your lab, folks, you have to give your lab name. Cloudera, folks, you have to have this Cloudera name and three areas. In, in se.txt file, in here, in here, here, and then here. Three areas you need to change. Here, here, and here. So once this is done, give control yes to save or file save, click it, okay? Then, file will be done now what you have to do right click the spark first project again now i have to export the jar run as maven build okay run as maven build then install package take care of spelling okay take care of spelling very well install space package here i have install space package take care of the spelling very well folks now give the run now give the run, right? A console will run here. You can see the console comes and definitely you have to save it and give it. If don't, if you don't properly give save, it will be a problem. Save it and then do, go, do Maven build, okay? Then write, then immediately, then go to this target, click, select this target, right click, go to properties, target folder. There is a button where you see the folder here. So once this is done, this pop-up gets of this particular box gets opened. Just go in. You have your jar here. You have your jar here. Now you have to copy this jar to your cloud era. Okay. Go to WinSCP. Okay. And log into your cloud era. 192.168.1.5 in my case. Lab folks, take care on the username. Okay. Go to your Windows. Well, sorry, Windows CP. Give your host name of cloud era. Username is cloud era. Password is cloud era. Lab folks, your lab username password. Log into it, okay? Then you'll have quite some of the details, but don't worry. But ensure you have to copy this jar. This jar needs to be copied here. What I would suggest, what I would suggest, just don't click any folder, come down, you have files. File area, just copy it. Because if you give any folders at the top, then it will go to some of the folders. So we don't need that. So this jar got copied just now. This jar got copied just now. Now what you have to do, 
you have to go to your Cloudera. Then you have to deploy it directly. No worries. Spark submit hyphen hyphen class spark pack dot spark obj. Okay. Spark pack dot obj. Okay. Then go ahead with directly spark. Give yes, spark first. This is your jar start name. Give just tab. Okay. Spark first. Oh, sorry. This is the lab. Okay. So what you have to do spark submit hyphen hyphen class spark pack dot spark obj. Everything is in small. Give spark first and give simply give the tab. It automatically comes and simply give enter. The deployment would start. Immediately the deployment would start. The run will happen. Once this is completed, let's discuss. This should have completed, folks. The done is a check. Now, if you go and check the Hadoop folder, Cloudera gym data. Hope you know. Lab folks, you have to place your username here. Okay. So you can able to check one of the data get generated with only gymnastics data. All right. So now read this data and complete the deployment. Okay. Just read this data and complete the deployment. This is only the German. Thank you, folks. Yeah.